Welcome to building a user-generated content live streaming application with Amazon Interactive Video Service. My name is Todd Sharp, and I'm the principal developer advocate for Amazon Interactive Video Service, aka Amazon IVS. In this course, you'll find lessons that focus on how to solve many of the common problems involved in building a user-generated content, or UGC, live streaming web application. We'll answer questions like, how do I create live streaming channels and chat rooms? How do I store and retrieve a user's channel information? How can I display live viewer counts for a stream? How can I record streams for playback later on? How can I replay the chat for a recorded stream? How can I invite chat users to join my live stream? These are just a few of the specific issues that we'll address in the various lessons in this series. Since this course is broken up into smaller, focused lessons, many of the lessons will be valuable to any developer working with Amazon IBS, not just developers building UGC applications. To follow along with this course, you'll need the following. An AWS account, the AWS Cloud Development Kit, aka AWS CDK, the AWS CLI installed and configured for your AWS account, an IDE like VS Code, familiarity with TypeScript and JavaScript, and familiarity with an RDBMS system like Postgres. So what is Amazon IVS? Well, it's an AWS service that gives developers the ability to create interactive, high quality, low latency live streaming applications. When we say low latency, we're talking about two to five seconds glass to glass, or broadcaster to viewer. Amazon IVS also offers real-time streaming for developers who need sub-second latency. Amazon IVS has many features, things like auto record to S3, interactive chat with chat logging and automated moderation, timed metadata, authorized playback, and much more. In this course, we'll look at a demo UGC application called StreamCat. In order to reach the widest possible audience of developers, we'll intentionally avoid using popular frameworks like React and Angular. StreamCat is a monolithic application with the router, service tier, and views bundled into a single application. This may or may not be the best architecture for your application, but it's the best way to keep things uncomplicated for a video series like this. StreamCat uses Adonis JS, but you won't need to be familiar with that framework to understand what the application is doing on the back end. We'll talk through things like model structure and persistence so that you'll understand how to apply these concepts in whatever framework and persistence tier that exists in your application. Similarly, StreamCat utilizes AlpineJS to simplify data binding and view state management on the front end. And again, no prerequisite knowledge is required. When we talk about the front end, will do so in abstract terms that you'll be able to apply to whatever front-end framework you're using. If you're ready to dive into things, hop over to the next lesson for a more detailed overview of what we'll be learning in this video series.